Coming up shortly, we've got race number five. Uh, this is the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club Cup for the locally bred thoroughbred. Thoroughbreds, five runners then to uh, face the starter. Number one is Manama Girl and uh, Connor Beasley is aboard. Number two, Living Art and uh, Stefan Ladjaj. Number three, Snake Eyes and Andrew Breslin. The four horse here is uh, C. Shan and uh, Marcialis Jouras. Now number five, Campolina is partnered by Rosie Jessup. Five of them to go to post 2,200 metres, the journey. And they're off and a very sleepy starter by the newcomer Snake Eyes. Lost many lengths for this, the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club Cup. 2,200 metres the journey, they go around the first turn, form their early order, and it is Campolina who disputes the lead with uh, Living Art going down the side of the course. Uh, those two are a couple of lengths in advance of Man and Girl. Snake Eyes has caught them up, and last of all is C Sharp. So they're edging ever closer to the back straight, and it is Campolina, the leader, with Snake Eyes now moving along the outside, three wide, going into that bend, and it is Snake Eyes getting the hang of things, moves on by about two lengths to Campolina and Living R to Manama Girl in the yellow jacket just in behind them with C. Shan last of all. They move on uh, down the far side and head now towards the last of 1,400 metres of their journey, and it is Snake Eyes and Andrew Breslin in front with the big white face being followed by Campolina. Just in behind uh, those is Living Art in the green and brown jacket with Manama Girl, the Oaks winner next, and last of all is C Sharp. They're approaching the end of the back straight with Snake Eyes in front. So from last to first through the first, what, 400 metres or so, this horse, Snake Eyes in front by just over a length to the parked out Campolina. Living Art in third. Manama Girl and Sishan are following with 800 to go. Coming on down the side of the track, and it's still Snake Eyes who has the advantage. It's a length and a half. Campolina is parked out and will face the breeze. It's probably more than the breeze as they come down the home straight. Living Art just in behind behind them, then Manama Girl, and last of all is C. Shan. They're about to flatten out for the judge with 600 to go, and it's Snake Eyes still in front by just over a length as Living Art wrestles back second position, and heading down the straight, down the outside is Campolina. Manama Girl now being produced by Connor Beasley, just in behind them, but Living Art had first run inside the final 400, and now the duel's on between Living Art and Manama Girl. Manama Girl just wandering around a little bit as pressure is applied. It's Living Art is proving hard to pass, 200 to go, and Living Art is not for stopping, Living Art by a few legs, Man of a Girl second, they've had a private duel down the straight, they're miles clear of the others with Sishan moving into third, but this will go impressively to Living Art, Living Art is the winner, Man of a Girl on her seasonal debut in second place, Sishan in third, followed home by Campolina and Snake Eyes. So Living Art is the impressive winner, and uh, Living Art has uh, backed up that last win, so two from two this season. Living Art taking this domestic grade three, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Cup. Actually, Neil Callum rode him when he was second in the, the King's Cup last year. But he had such good form out here last year, and this six-year-old is progressing really nicely. Stefan always had him in a nice position to challenge. I know it's not the biggest field, but he had him exactly where he wanted him, and then he said go, and the horse has absolutely taken off. Uh, no doubt he will head back to the similar sort of back end of season races that he contested last year. No reason why he, he can't make his presence felt right at the very top level. Uh, a really good reappearance followed by this uh, group success. And um, he can mix it up as well distance wise. 2400 seemed all right last year. One over 1800 on, on his reappearance. 2200 here fine. So between 18 and 2400, nine and... And let's have a word with our winning jockey then, Stefan. Stefan, you were on board this horse when he last won uh, just uh, middle of November. He's a class horse, isn't he? One of the best here in the, the local breads. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know his job. Uh, he was the best in this field last time or so. But he, he do it in style and it's good to have kind of race like this for his mind. And hopefully he will be stronger when we will have a serious competitor. Because there's some big prizes to be won with him this season. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I don't know exactly what's the plan of the boss, but I'm sure he planned something good. And how much are you enjoying your time over here with, with the, the Fauzi Nas stable? 
Oh, I enjoy. I, I think I ride my uh, first winner for, for the 15 or 16 years ago, so we know each, each other very well. And it's always a pleasure to work for this team. Well, a long and successful association. Congratulations then to our winning jockey, Stefan Ladage.